A Jacksonville City Council member says he is concerned panhandlers are harassing people to the point that it is becoming a public safety issue. So News for Jackson reporter Brianna Andrews is joining us now live from outside City Hall where a public meeting will be held today. Brianna, good morning. Hey, good morning. Jacksonville City Councilman Al Ferraro is going to talk about some options with the Sheriff's Office and the City's General Council. Now, he's especially concerned that panhandlers, sometimes children, are approaching cars stopped in traffic and asking for money. Now, we know viewers have expressed concerns about panhandling to us for quite some time, especially along Blandon Boulevard near I-295. But the thing is, there's no simple quick fix to this issue. That's according to city leaders. Panhandling falls under First Amendment rights. Panhandlers can only be cited by police if they obstruct traffic. JSO issued this statement last year. This issue has been debated recently, but it is not as simple as JSO not wanting to enforce applicable laws and ordinances. JSO's ability to enforce panhandling has become more restrictive recently. This due as a result of recent rulings in both Florida state statute and Jacksonville municipal ordinances. Now there is a law banning panhandling in downtown Jacksonville. It deems panhandling to be a misdemeanor offense that can lead up to as much as $500 fine and as many as 90 days in jail for repeated offenses. Section 614.138 of the city's code of ordinances states that it is unlawful for anyone within Jacksonville Central Core Enhancement Area, aka its downtown section. The law states to solicit or beg on any sidewalk, highway, street, roadway, right of way, parking lot, park or picnic grounds or other public or semi-public area or in any building lobby, entranceway, plaza or common area without the permission of the owner thereof. Now, Councilman Ferraro also wants to get city attorneys involved as well. We know that meeting starts at 1230 inside the Linwood Roberts room on the first floor of City Hall. It is, of course, open to the public. Reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, The Local Station.